All right, let's try this again. Hello, guys. I am live, I think. Um, am I live? <laughs> you guys, I have no idea. I'm trying a completely new platform. So hopefully this shows up. Um, I don't know how to see your comments, but I think I am live. I am going simultaneously live on YouTube and Facebook. So we'll see how this goes. I wanted to come on because I wanted to show you guys how to make this cool beehive box. So um, my VIP members, actually, let me go ahead and share this to my VIP Crafters Club group. Um, because I want them to see how to make this. So this month in our VIP Crafters Club group, one of our cut files is this really fun and cute honeycomb box. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. Here are all the pieces. I have them all cut out card on, with cardstock. Um, and I'm just gonna come over here and I will show you guys how I do that. Let's see. Let me just solo my hands here. Fancy little uh, special effects there. All right, so here I have my, um, my uh, pieces all cut out. And like I said, I'm going to be making this cute little beehive box. It's really cute for um, gifts, you know, something spring, springy, because we're approaching springtime. Gosh, I wish I could see your comments, you guys. Um, like I said, whoops. I'm going to be making this. All right. Well, <laughs> I was trying to open to see your comments, but then I end ended up hearing my own self. All right, so here's what we're doing. So so we've got the little pieces for the bee. I'm gonna layer these and glue these together. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually assemble the box. All right. So I've got, I've got this crafter's glue um, and I will use this for the box, but since this is a little bit more intricate, I'm gonna use this Tombow, uh, pen tip liquid glue. Um, I have so many different kinds of glue, but this one works. So there's three different layers. We have the white layer. We have the yellow layer goes next. And then on the top is going to be the black layer. Okay. So I'm just going to glue them together. Our little bee friend. I know how much you guys all love bees. So I thought I would make this for springtime. So I'm just dabbing just a tiny bit on here. And then let me get my tweezers since this is a little bit more intricate. I'll get the head there. Okay. So I'm gonna try and do more of these lives. I know it's been such a long time since I've gone live on my channel, um, but I'm really happy to be making stuff again. I got a new craft room, which is pretty much done. Just a little bit of organization left to do. All right, so I've got my two layers and then I'm going to get my black layer on top here. I wish I could see your comments. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Hello! Okay, I see Callie, Kelly, Rosalyn, and Bina May. Is there a way to make this full screen? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I, I think there should be like a way to enlarge it on your device. All right, so here we go. 
our little bee friend. I'm gonna put him aside, or her. Actually, it's a, it's a him because it's a worker bee. <laughs> All right, so I've got my, um, so this is gonna be the bottom of the box, and then this is going to be the top of the box. And so this cute little um, piece is gonna go on the inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that part. Actually, let me fold, let me fold all these pieces. Where's my little? All right, so I'm gonna fold all of these little pieces. I've I used my scoring tool, and so I can kind of see where these need to get folded. It helps if I have a little boning tool just like this. I think that's what it's called. Um, this is my little Martha Stewart one. And I'm just folding in all the tabs. How's your day, everybody? How's the weather where you are? It's a warm day here where I am. Started out kind of cold, but now it's warm. All right, so the most tedious part is gonna be folding all these pieces, but it's a very, very easy assembly. So we're gonna, these little tabs right here on the corners, we're just gonna glue them to each piece over to the left. You'll see in just a second, it's really very simple. We got some really fun files this month. I had a lot of fun at making the files. We have um, we have this cute tulip card, 3D tulip card, and you could put a gift card in it. It's really fun. And my wine lover friends, there is a vineyard shadow box file, which I really love as well. So lots of fun ones. And then our main project is um, some beautiful spring topiaries. All right, so here I've got I've got all the pieces are folded, and what I'm gonna do now is I am going to start laying down the glue, okay? So I'm going to glue this, I'm gonna fold this tab over, and then I'm going to put glue on the tab, and then for this longer tab, I'm going to sort of glue the, um, I'm going to glue it on, so so let's see. So this one, we're gonna glue it on the outside, and then this one, we're gonna put glue on the inside. And you'll see why here in a second. So long tab, let's just go ahead and glue all the longer tabs on the outside. I'll go around in a circle just to make it easier so that when you're assembling this, um, you don't get confused. Okay, and then for these little triangular tabs, you will fold it over first and then apply the glue. Okay, there we go. And then one more thing, we have to put this um, little orange, colored orange piece right on the inside. And 
and that has to go in first because then once we start to kind of close it up, it'll it'll be contained on the inside. Okay, so now we're gonna start to put this together. I hope you guys can see. So now I'm gonna take the tab and I'm gonna connect it to the adjacent piece. And then you can kind of take this piece down, fold it down, and the reason why we put glue on the underside of this tab is because then we can just kind of fold this down. Okay? And so I'm gonna just rotate over to the next one. I'm gonna attach the side, the, the side tab, and then I'm going to push this down. I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, make sure you go back and watch the replay and then slow it down and pause. And then the the underside, the black part, is pretty much exactly the same. Same process as before. Thanks. Hi, Martha. Hey, Tina. How you been? I can't fully see all the comments, but I see the last few. All right, so there is the top. And we'll just put this aside, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this bottom part. So note to self, I think uh, I will do the scoring next time in advance, <laughs> since that's a little boring to watch, I guess. Um, I mean, it's, I scored it already with my machine, but just the just folding it and just making sure that everything is nicely folded and ready to go. Okay. And we're gonna just do the same exact thing. I have posted a link, or I think I've posted a link to where you can download this file. If you are a VIP member, make sure you're logged in so that you can just download that file specifically. Or you can go to our um, March project page and then you could download all of the March files, including this one. Just a couple more folds here. Okay. Looks good. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna take the triangular piece and we're gonna fold the outside of that. And then for this longer tab, we're gonna fold the inside. So let's just do the longer tab first, just like we did before. Let me know what's your favorite like go-to glue for paper projects. I have several that I use and I'm still deciding which one's my favorite. I think I have different favorites for different projects, you know? Like I sometimes I use the Aline's Tacky Glue. That one's good. Um, and I just bought a new one that I'm gonna try out. I love these, this uh, Ad Tech Crafters tape, um, but when they, some, 
you know, if it gets like off center or anything like that, um, if the roll gets off center, it gets kind of frustrating. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So I've got all my glue on it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these pieces up and I'm going to just connect the sides. And then once I connect the tab, I'm gonna fold down over it and just push this other longer tab in. Hopefully you guys can see that. This would be really cute to give somebody like um, a stack of cookies or some Easter candy or a little gift. Let me know what you guys would would put in this. I just love little boxes. You guys know me, I love little boxes. And everybody loves bees. Who doesn't love bees? Well, I mean, I guess if you had a bee allergy, I probably wouldn't love bees if I had a bee allergy. All right, so here is the bottom of my box. And here is the top of my box. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little bee friend and I'm gonna decide where I want him to go. There it is. So fun. Isn't that cute? So there it is. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, I'll go back and read your comments because I, you know, I don't know if I'm if it's getting refreshed all the way through. But anyways, thank you for hanging out with me. This uh, box was really cute and really fun to make. I hope you guys will make one too. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Let me see if I can figure out how to, how to end this.